Now we're getting into the bonus videos. And this one deals with vendor invoices and subcontractors. So this one really doesn't have anything to do specifically with LMN or LMN time. But since we've gone through how to get your invoices in from LMN estimates and how to get your timesheets and job costs in from LMN time, let's take a look now at how to enter vendor invoices and subcontractors so that you can job cost those two using the exact same setup that we've got. So to do this, I'm just going to open up QuickBooks, and this is very, very simple. If I get an invoice for materials from a vendor, I'm going to go Vendors and Enter Bills. And let's say I bought some stonework for that same job we've been working on throughout the rest of these videos. So first I'll pick the vendor and get it from Stone Supply West. Now down here, you have two choices for entering a vendor invoice. You can enter it by expense or by item. Now most people use expenses. When you use the Expenses tab, you're going to enter this bill directly to your chart of accounts without using service items. Now that'll make sure it gets in your chart of accounts, but you're skipping job costing, which is probably the most important part of what you want to look at in QuickBooks. So choose Items instead. Now items are going to use your service items. So here under Item comes the service items we set up in the service items video. My hardscapes, my softscape, construction extras, and lighting. And if you can remember, I set up a sub item for materials. Remember, the top level item is used for customer invoices and also used for timesheets. So we don't want to use that, but I will use the hardscape materials item to enter a purchase of hardscape materials or softscape materials or lighting materials, whatever the material happens to be. I'll use hardscape for this example. So the description might be uh, pavers. The quantity might be 400 square feet at $3.99 a square foot. And then I need to pick my customer or my job. So I'm going to drop that down and I'm going to pick that Sandra Alberts job we've been working on. This isn't billable directly to Sandra. It's part of the contract invoice. So I untick that and that's it. I've created a vendor invoice now that not only creates the job cost of these pavers to the Sandra Alberts job, but also it lumps it under my hardscaping items so that I'm going to see both on the Sandra job and on the cost code of hardscaping across my entire company that these costs for hardscaping related directly to any of the revenue I'm going to book for hardscaping with my customer invoices. So I'm going to save and close that. And now we can look at reports, job costing, job profitability detail, and I'll pick the Sandra Alberts job again. And now you can see underneath hardscaping, I've got these costs under hardscape materials. So the other is where my revenue from my invoices and my cost of wages for my timesheets came. Materials is going to show me any vendor invoices that have been applied for any hardscape purchases I made for Sandra Albert's job. Same thing with uh, Southscaping construction and uh, extras and landscape lighting. So Southscaping has no materials for it yet because we haven't created a vendor invoice for it. If I did the same way, So here I've created another bill from Acme Landscape Supply. I've, it's plant material for Sandra Alberts' job. So I've allocated the amount to the job called Sandra Alberts. This time under the item, I've gone to softscaping and picked my softscape materials. Save and close again. Flash over to job costing. Pick Sandra's job. Click OK. And now you can see the softscape materials are showing up as an actual cost underneath softscaping. So to date, I've invoiced $8,000 worth of hardscaping work for Sandra, and we've spent $5,200 to get this work done. I've invoiced $856 for the softscape work, but we've already spent $2,600 to get this done. So, And what it looks like here is we've bought the materials ahead of time. And as we continue to invoice that estimate, that revenue will grow. Right now, we've only done a 20% deposit. But here's how your costs and revenue will grow and how they'll be compared to each other. I would enter subcontractor invoices the exact same way that I just entered that vendor invoice. And then you'll be able to see for each segment of this job, what did we spend? What did we invoice? What did we spend on labor? What did we spend on materials and any other things that may pop up as well? These same costs are also showing up under my job costing report by item. So I can also look at my hardscaping 
what my total invoicing for hardscaping across all my jobs is, what my total cost for hardscaping is, and what profit I'm making on hardscaping. And once again, down through the list of all the different services we do. And that's pretty much how to take QuickBooks and make it work for you without adding any extra work to your office staff day. You already have to enter your invoices and you already have to enter your vendor invoices into QuickBooks. Why not take the time to set up your service items, take a few minutes beginning of the year to put the foundation in so that you can get perfect job costing right out of your QuickBooks without doing one minute of extra work throughout the rest of the year. Good luck. Any questions, be sure to email us. You can email us at info at goelmn.com. We'd be happy to answer any questions you have.